Hey everybody, it's John from Wire here. And in this video, what we're going to talk about is embedding different types of tweets and timelines into your website. And preferably, we're going to be working with WordPress websites. So the first thing you want to do is you want to have a Twitter account um, because that's going to let you embed your own tweets and your own timelines and also the tweets and timelines of people that you follow, as well as your wall and other media too. So the first question is, what's the benefit of embedding your own content? And one of the benefits is that if you go to something like your sidebar and you want to have a Twitter feed on the right hand side of your website, the, uh, the ability to embed your timeline is really helpful if you're trying to do like social media marketing or if you're just trying to um, get more people to visit your Twitter account. So what we're going to do first is we're going to embed a single tweet. And then we're going to embed the entire timeline right here. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is embed a single tweet. So if I go down here to the tweet that I want to embed on my website, uh, you see I posted this about 20 minutes ago. Click on the downward icon here, then click on embed tweet. And what's going to happen is it's going to show you a little preview of what the tweet is going to look like. So I can see that it has the picture and the content. But what if I don't want this picture and I just want the content or the tweet itself? Unchecking this button right here is going to make it so it just shows the content of the tweet. So if you do want to include the media, make sure that that's checked, and then go ahead and copy what's ever in this box right here. So I'm going to copy that. And then once you have that copied, go back to your website, and you want to go down under Appearance and then Widgets, and this is going to put it in the sidebar, but you can also put it into individual pages or individual posts. So first, if you want to put on the sidebar of your website, appearance, and then widgets, and then go and drag text into the sidebar. All right, I'm just going to name this Twitter post. Now I'm going to switch to text mode. I'm just going to paste whatever I had copied. All right, now I'm going to click on save. And then if I go to my website, I should see that tweet on the right hand side. And there it is. All right, so what if I wanted my entire timeline to appear here instead of just a single post? Well, what you can do is you can go to this thing called Twitter Publish, and it's publish.twitter.com. So if I wanted to embed my profile on the right side of my website, I would use this drop down box and then I would click on a profile. But instead of Twitter dev, I want to change it to my own profile. You can find your own profile by going to your actual profile and just copying this entire link here. Okay, I'm going to click on that button. And now I get the two options where I can either embed the timeline or I can have the Twitter button appear on the website. So if I want my entire timeline, I click on that button. And then it'll show all of my recent tweets from my timeline itself. So if I scroll up to the top, you see there's a few different options here under the set customization options. I can make it look dark to match the theme of my website. I can change the default link color. Notice how this changes to green once I change that. And then if I have different types of languages I want to support, I can also choose it here as well. Um, the height and width I really wouldn't change unless you know exactly what pixel length you want it to be. Usually what happens is that once you paste this code into the widget section of your website, it should auto constraint to the size of the sidebar. So let's go ahead and see if that works. I'm gonna go ahead and click on update, and then I'm gonna click on copy code. Now I'm going back to the widget section on my website. I'm gonna replace this single post, click on save, and then I'm going to refresh this page to see if it worked. And we should have my entire timeline right here. Great, so here's my entire account um, on the right hand side of my website here. And it looks pretty good, but I realize now that I really don't want it to be dark. I don't like this dark mode. So what you can do if you have to go ahead and make a change is you go back to Twitter Publish, um, go back to the set customization options, change it to light, and then regenerate the code. Then go back to the website where you want to put it in. I'm just replacing it with the new code that I copied. 
and I'm clicking on save. And now once I click on refresh, I should have this match a little bit more of what my website looks like. And it looks pretty great. Okay, so we did a single tweet and we did my entire timeline, but what else can we use Twitter to embed? Um, if you go back to publish.twitter.com and you remove this here, you can see that there's a lot of different options that you can use to embed on your website. So you can embed an entire handle, um, a hashtag if you want to, a likes timeline, a list that you've made. There's a lot of different options here that you can do. Uh, so let's say I wanted to go and I wanted to embed um, a likes timeline. I wanted to embed all of my likes. So the first thing I would do is I would change Twitter dev to my actual profile URL. So my profile URL is wire underscore official. And then if I click on the arrow, so now it's going to show all of my likes that I've made. Um, so what I can do now is I can go to the top and I can customize it the same way I had it before. Then I click on update and this is going to be the light, this is going to be the full list of my likes that I can now put on my website. So if I go back to the widget section, instead of putting this on the sidebar, let's go ahead and practice putting this inside an actual post. So I'm going to go with the right hand, or excuse me, the left hand side. I'm going to click on Add New under Posts. Okay, and now I'm going to make sure that I'm in text mode, which I am. So I'm going to title this post Twitter Likes. And now I'm making sure that I'm under text mode. I'm going to paste what I just copied. And then let's go ahead and preview this to see what it looks like. Awesome. So it's showing all of my likes that I've made on that account. Great. So I don't really need this. I'm just going to move it to the trash. But I really encourage you to go ahead and play around with publish.twitter.com because there's a lot of really cool stuff that you can do. If you've made any lists or if you have a certain collection of tweets that you want to publish to your website, you can do that as well. And you can also go ahead and click on this thing called Curate a Story, which kind of walks you through the whole process of uh, publishing different tweets and embedding them into a different story and a lot of different ways that you can implement it with different third-party services as well. So if you're interested in that, definitely recommend you go ahead and click on that Curate a Story with Twitter button in the upper right-hand corner. I hope this helped, and if you have any questions, go ahead and leave a comment section below. Um, I do go ahead and read every single comment that is made, so chances are if you do have a question and you post a, something below in the comment section, I will go ahead and respond. And with that, um, I hope this helps, and I hope you have a great day. Thanks.